Next on 5, WKRG News 5 is your local election headquarters. And do you think that your vote doesn't matter? Well, two races in our area are separated right now by a single vote. And it will be several more days before we know who won last night's sheriff's race in Connecticut County. That's because one vote prevented a tie between the candidates. As WKRG News 5's Blake Brown explains, a recount will take place next week before this close race can be called. There's a new sheriff in town. That's what Mike Blackman was hoping to hear Tuesday night, but instead he learned he was short by just one vote. I was expecting it to be close, but not quite this close. It got kind of exciting there for a little bit, you know, and you know, as they were coming in, you know, it's kind of back and forth and narrowing down. Incumbent Randy Brock leading with 2,224 votes compared to Blackman's 2,223 votes. But the race for Connecticut County Sheriff isn't over yet. That's according to the Board of Registrar's Office confirming to us a recount will happen next week once all provisional ballots have been counted. That means for now the final vote won't be announced for several days, something Blackman says is worth the wait. I just want better for the people of the county. We got a lot of crime here, a lot of drugs. I hope things turn out on Tuesday uh, in my favor. And if not, I'm still going to be thankful of what the Lord has blessed me with. We've reached out to Sheriff Randy Brock to hear his thoughts on the results, but we haven't received a response. Brock has held the position since 2015. The final numbers are expected to be tallied Tuesday morning at 9 o'clock. In Conecuh County, I'm Blake Brown, WKRG News 5.